And a lot of people believe, and this is one, one of the issues a little bit with, uh, with the way that we think about uh, ice bathing, is a lot of people believe that there's some kind of a trick, some kind of a magical hack that will make your body produce more heat and then uh, suddenly it's really easy to sit in an ice bath for a long time. There are, there are tricks in a way that do that, but they're very difficult to control. So just to say that that level of control over the subconscious, it comes from doing a lot of training and venturing into a potentially very risky field where the only point to do that is to learn it, right? So I, I'm not saying that there's no benefits to it because I love learning l random things for the sake of learning random things. And I think we should definitely keep delving into all of human potential and figure out what's possible for sure. And I'm super happy that there are people who are doing that. Like I, I think it's awesome that there's people trying to figure out how long you can hold your breath underwater. I think that's awesome, right? But I'm also very consciously decided to not be one of them and to not suggest anybody does that because a lot of those people die. It's just part of the game. It's an extreme sport. And with any extreme sport, there's incredible things that you can learn from it, incredible experiences you can have, but there's also a very high price to pay.